and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome visual stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for April 24. Even if you don't pick up any of these, still great to look at them to see if they inspire you to build something. Just watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination. I can immediately picture all the kinds of games that I could build. This one is a list of paid asset effects. I've already covered the best free new assets and the best tools and systems. As always, there's links to the asset in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. By the way, I've started working on something that people have been asking me to do for ages. I'm currently working on planning my upcoming DOTS course. I was waiting for the Unity 6 preview, which came out just right now. So if you're interested in learning how to make a game with DOTS, then check out the link and sign up. I'll send an email when the course is ready. And if you need some gorgeous realistic assets, then check out the current Humble Bundle. If you're working on something with a realistic style, then this publisher has some gorgeous assets. You've got lots of awesome environments, and most of these work with Unity. The Unreal specific things are just these vehicles. Although technically, you could also just grab the models and the materials, take it without the scripts, and use it inside Unity. So if you need tons of realistic awesome assets, then check it out. Alright, so starting off with a super high quality character, here is a demonic warrior. It's a really cool design, it looks like it could be a special character that lives in Mordor. The character apparently has a name, it's called Erendil, that really sounds like a very Lord of the Rings like name, or just fantasy. It's got a sword, some cloth simulation, and some face blend shapes. This publisher makes some of the highest quality characters that I've seen, so if you want something super high end, definitely check out the entire page. Next up, here is the latest Cindy asset and this one is very different from their usual. It's a UI pack. It's kind of interesting to see them explore different areas. A while ago they also made their first animation pack. This one is called Sci-Fi Soldier and looks really awesome. You've got lots of sliders, buttons, weapons, minimaps, portraits and so on. There's some loading screens, some targeting reticles, there's lots of controls and tons of weapon and item icons. Looks like a really great pack, I definitely hope they do more of these. Then here's a really cool one, it's an upgradable car pack. This one immediately reminded me of a game that I loved playing as a kid. It was called Gearhead Garage and it was kind of a car mechanic simulator game. You could remove some screws and bolts, you could fix some things and put them back together. With this pack, you could build a simple game just like that, something based on buying a car and fixing or upgrading it. This pack contains multiple bodies, you've got various engines, hoods, wheels and a bunch more. So this would be really great for some mechanic game, or really just a racing game with some pre made cartoony cars. Then if you need some particle effects, here's a nice one. These are satellites which I personally always love. This pack includes 60 effects, everything from slashes, auras, projectiles, explosions. There's some great looking fire, some awesome looking stun or sleep effects, or maybe just some nice smoke that you can combine with some powerful tornadoes. Next, if you want a nice battlefield, check out this one. This is a really huge pack, almost 800 prefabs. It's a battlefield with a ton of weapons, some cannons, and some great looking towers and tents. Looking at this one reminds me of the first mission in The Witcher 2. You could build a castle seed just like that with this pack. The video looks really gorgeous with some nice natural lighting. So whether you're making a castle game, or really if you're just someone who likes to build worlds for fun, then this looks like it would be great to play with. Then if you're making a samurai game, here is a modular samurai. It's a very high-end realistic model, or actually multiple models. Being modular means that with just this one pack you can create hundreds of characters, pretty much enough to populate an entire world. You can make some really serious samurai, or make some innocent villagers, maybe some Yakuza members, or some farmers. You've got plenty of different body parts and different materials to make tons of variation. So really, if you'd like to make a game inspired by something like Ghost of Tsushima, then this pack would be an excellent starting point. Next, if your game has some knife weapons and you need some animations for that, then check out this one. You've got over 300 knife animations. So everything from even just standard, regular walking, idle and crouch animations, all while holding a knife, you've got those, as well as some really nice attacks, slashes, stabs and combos. And it also has some equip animations and some nice movement like vaulting over a crate. Then if you're making a cyberpunk like game and you need some neon lights, check out this one. Basically what makes something cyberpunk versus just sci-fi is really an abundance of neon lights. This pack includes over a thousand prefabs, that's a huge amount. You've got lots of signs, holograms and glitchy screens. All of it to populate your city and this one also comes in modular parts. And if you want the city on top of all of these neon signs, if so then this dev has more packs in the same style. Or maybe if you're hungry, then here's some gorgeous Japanese food. These are some really delicious looking models. They are nice and stylized, but not too cartoony. You've got some rice, some ramen, and a bunch of things that I'm really not familiar with. There's 150 assets in this pack, and this dev has a bunch more packs in the same style. So if you'd like to make some kind of Japanese restaurant tycoon game, if so, then this would be a really great starting point. 
Or maybe you're working on some shooting game, if so, here are some nice fantasy rifles. These are some very strange, very unique models. They look mechanical and also a little bit organic. Some of them look almost religious or something, so it seems like a little bit of a Warhammer vibe. Others look more like they could belong to some orcs from World of Warcraft. So it's a very strange pack, but if you want to make your game stand out, then this looks like it would be great. Or if instead of weapons you need some vehicles, check out this one. Personally, I quite like the style. It's nice and cute, all very rounded. This one is a pretty giant pack with tons of variation. You've got some regular cars, some cop cars. There's some industry vehicles, some taxi, racing, hot rods, and a bunch more. Looking at this one reminds me of playing the game Micro Machines when I was a kid. This would be a great pack for making a game just like that one. Then if you're more into a realistic style, if so, then look at this Victorian mansion. My immediate reaction is this looks like a house straight out of Resident Evil. Personally, I always find this style very spooky, this kind of Victorian thing. It always creeps me out. So this would be perfect for some kind of horror game. But really, horror is all about lighting. So if you take exactly this, if you put this house with some nice natural lighting, it would actually look quite gorgeous. Then if you need some icons, but in 3D, check out this one. Making 3D icons can sometimes look better than 2D, especially because it makes them easier to animate. So these are great for things like weapon or item pickups, or really just to make your UI stand out a little bit more. This one is a nice pack with 100 icons. You've got some chests, locks, gears, weapons, and of course a bunch of exclamation points for all your quests. Next, if you watch Dune and you wanted to make a game just like it, if so, here's a sandworm to get you started. It looks very aggressive, very nasty. This one is a super high-end model. This dev really excels at making a realistic style with some gorgeous, super high-quality textures. This creature can be either giant or small, and it includes 20 animations for you to play with. Then here's some really cool-looking androids. This one reminds me of the movie Champion. That was a fun movie. It's a great high-quality model with six different skins. It says the model is rigged, although I'm not sure if it's a humanoid rig. Either way, it looks really great and comes with a bunch of weapons. Then for some effects, here are some map markers. These are really great for any kind of RTS game, or maybe even something like Diablo, so a top-down action game. Or perhaps these could also be great in a game kind of like Helldivers. You could use that to showcase some kind of airstrike location. Then if you need an underground map, check out this one. This one looks really perfect for some kind of game inspired by aliens, or maybe just a fun map for some fun multiplayer shooting game. It looks like a pretty large level, so you can just use the demo scene as is, or build your own. Then here's a cool generic anime guy with a sword. It's a pretty nice design. It's generic, but it does look the part. This could be really great in some kind of JRPG game. Only difficulty would be finding other characters that match this style, but perhaps you could use this in a game kind of like Devil May Cry, and if so, you would only need to find some monsters. Next, here's a really cool looking effect pack. This one is all about chain skills. So immediately, of course, I would say this looks inspired by Scorpion for Mortal Kombat. I can almost hear that get over here line. It's got a nice variety of attacks from simple to complex. So definitely a very niche thing, but if you need some chain, then this looks really great. Or perhaps you just need an entire stylized island, if so, look at this one. It looks really gorgeous, I especially love the top-down view. A few months ago I played Desperados 3, and this looks like the perfect environment for a mission in that game. You could just add some characters, control them from a top-down perspective, implement some skills, add some enemies, and with that you have a gorgeous level. Or of course, just go down into first person and build your own Sea of Thieves. Alright, so those are my top 20 new visual assets on the Unity Ass Store for April 24. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.